Alright, so that's, I just thought I'd have to share this. That looks pretty much like any, well, kind of looks normal, right? If you look at the light that's in the front, it changes colors. I like that. Of course, the camera doesn't really do it justice. Because the colors are all off, but... Whatever. The one that's on the actual house does the same thing. Pretty cool. Have to get me some of those. You have to get some. I really like those lights there on the side of the house there though. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's get on to today's featured video. Don't you just love autofocus when you're trying to record a computer monitor? Hmm. Not sure if you can hear that. Cause it's a pretty quiet drive. But that sounds like a hard drive failure to me. And given that I need this computer tomorrow, we have really got to deal with that. Alright, so here's the deal. I started this computer up today, uh, just to do some routine maintenance, and my hard drive monitoring program reported two current, current, two, um, pending sectors or whatever. Sectors pending reallocation, it had two of them, and the reallocation event count sh just skyrocketed. So that needed to be dealt with, and so I went ahead and scheduled a disk check, and that's where we are right now with a drive that does nothing. I'd assume it probably would still boot, but I want to check the status of the drive. I can't find my real H.2 disk, but I do have this, which does have H.2 on it, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at this. If I can open this thing up. Check the CD-ROM tray. Put the disk in. I'm probably just going to replace the drive anyway. I do have a spare 320 gigabyte Seagate. I don't really want to use that, but looks like I don't have a choice. Let's just shut four, shut it down, and see what Windows has to say about that. We'll see how robust it re Windows really is. Now, if I remember right, I don't have the boot order set up on this thing. Oops. I don't think it likes me. Just beeped at me. The autofocus on this camera has been giving me fits lately, and I do not understand why. I know it is set up right. You tap I C D zero. I want that. Boot up using the ultimate boot C D, because that's what I would like to do. Hard disk drive. I don't know why this display is showing up weird on this camera. Oh come on. H.24.9.3, that's what I like. Start up H.2. And we'll see what the drive reports. I know it's going to report smart error anyway. So what do we have here? Right, let's see what we got here. We don't have any read errors, so that's okay. Raw read error rate, we've got none of those. It's almost got 10,000 hours on it. Not quite. Um... No shock error rate. Uh, oh, oh, now we see the problem here. Let's take a look at this. 50 reallocation events have been tallied, and we have 149 current pending sectors. So what am I going to do about this? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do about this. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this drive out, put the new Seagate in, and reinstall Windows. I'm not going to bother cloning the drive because I really need to reinstall Windows anyways. Um, because there's there's some junk on this particular machine that I want to remove. And that's how we're going to go about that. I'm going to leave the drive intact, because as far as I can tell, data is still recoverable. It just won't boot. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my drive and um, 
go ahead and shut this down. Take the disc out. And shut the machine down. All right, let's get ready to replace a hard drive. All right, this really was not something that I wanted to do today, but the drive I have to replace this with is this Seagate Momentus, what is this, 5400.5, 320 gigabyte drive. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice. This is all I have. I uh, really need to stock up on new drives. And of course, I haven't needed to buy a new drive for a while because I've been, a lot of my drives have just been well working, which is a good thing. Let's just open this up if it will let me, which it might not because it wants to be a pain in the ass. We're complaining about me not showing all the steps on camera. Well, I'll show all the steps on camera. I'm not even going to time lapse it, so you're going to have to watch this whole thing completely without any, well, jump cuts. Um, so, as you can see, we still have a battery installed. I always say remove all forms of power from a system before even attempting to do any maintenance on it because you don't want it to suddenly accidentally power itself up and give you a nasty surprise. Likewise, you want to make sure your system is completely powered off. Um, even if you're using Windows 8, make sure it's completely powered off. I shouldn't have a, an issue with that. For this particular, um, well, upgrade, or more specifically replacement, we only really need to open up this door right here and there's one screw that does that job. It's a Phillips size screw, or you could use a flathead if you really want to. Uh, that's what the screw looks like. I can get that in camera. Um, this one's not in the greatest of shape anymore. But then we can pull the um, hard drive caddy out. And we see the original drive. This is not the original drive to this particular system. It is an IBM part, though. 7200 RPM, 100 gigabytes. Uh, this is a Hitachi Travel Star. Um, which people don't really have good luck with. They're dubbed the Portable Death Star. Uh, because apparently they fail very often. I've had my share of failures with these. But this drive was abused as when it was... Uh, actually, no, it wasn't. This came, if I remember the machine this came out of, it was a lightly used system. And whatever use the system did see, it saw, it saw plugged into a wall sitting on a desk. So Maybe you can see what I'm doing, maybe you can't. You want to remove these little sleds right here because, well, you kind of have to in order to remove the screws from the drive. And there are four screws in the caddy. If you don't have four screws, then either you or somebody before you had installed a hard drive wrong or stripped out a screw and just didn't bother to put it back in. Uh, they could have also lost the screw in the process. Uh, I have been known to drop screws on the floor and lose them temporarily and then find them about maybe a couple months later. Every once in a while something like that happens. You don't want to drop the drive if you want to do any data recovery like I do. Uh, but I don't really need to do any data recovery. I've got all my data, but I really want to check to make sure there's nothing still on that. Let me take the new drive. Put the old one back on the ESD bag. Uh, because we don't want it to be discharging. Oh yeah, and by the way, do not do electronic work on your bed. Uh, that's not a good idea. Because lap this is a soft surface. Laptops give off heat. You can end up burning a hole through your bed or starting a fire. You never know. You want to make sure you put the uh, rear end of the drive into the side that has the little ribbon table tape thing in it. So that way it looks like that from the front and you insert that in that way. You want to screw it in. That's important. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see this because it's getting pretty dark out. It's about 4.30. Hopefully this isn't going to take too long because I really need this computer. Now, if I could afford to do it, I would put an SSD in the system. But I don't even have an SSD in my main computer, so that's definitely not on my list of things that are going to be happening anytime soon. I do have an SSD on my Christmas list, because that'd be nice. But, but whatever. In, in any event, let's go ahead and do this the way I want it to be done. Oops. Don't want to scratch the machine. That's 
Always a good idea to not do that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, maybe not. So I'm probably going to have people complaining that they can't see what I'm doing, even though I'm explaining very carefully what I'm actually doing. Then you want to put the sleds back on. Those offer insulation to the drive from shocks and all that whatnot, and actually they're kind of necessary so that the drive doesn't wiggle back and forth inside the um, space for which it is given. We can put the drive back in, making sure to fold this tab over top. And we can do that like that. We can put this thing back on, the drive door, because this should work. Um, if it doesn't work, well, this door will prevent the smoke from going out into my face. So, that's now in. We can put the battery back on and we can set the machine back up and we can check and make sure that this drive is 100% healthy. Alright, let's go ahead and power it up. Check my disc here. Why did I do that? I have a feeling I'm going to have to reboot the system. Put that in there. So that's what I want. The drive should be actually working. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I didn't hear it spin up, so... Just want to check the drive, make sure it's actually sane and Seagate didn't one up me and or off me here one off me I guess is the way that you would say that and uh, send me a bad drive so what do we have we have a drive with an exclamation point because the security is frozen okay let's see we have two seeks a um, couple of red sectors with no errors Emergency retract cycles, we have a couple of those. We have no errors, so that's a good thing. The drive is in good health, that's what I like to see. Now let's get our Windows disk, reboot this, and install Windows 8. Okay, disk is inserted, let's go ahead, Control, Alt, Delete, three fingers salute. And we will go ahead and install Windows 8. The reason why I'm using Windows 8 is so that I can actually get, well, so I know the UI, even though I already know the UI, but I always have a machine of any particular operating system, except for XP, because I don't really need XP anymore. Uh, any of the more modern ones, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 are pretty much similar. Um, don't really need a Windows 8 machine. What it should do is boot straight off of the CD, but I'll hit press any key, just in case I have to, which I don't, it's just going to boot off of the CD. Which is good, that's what it's supposed to do. The camera does not like the blue logo. Yeah, it must be clipping white. It'll probably take quite a while to boot, so I'll come back when it's actually started. Alright, oh wait, yeah, that's right, that mouse doesn't work. Okay. Install now. Not like I have much of a choice anyway. Never did understand why the arrow glass interface is still in the setup utility, but not in actual Windows 8. Um, oh, I've got to type in a product key, so let us do that. Instead of, where's my key? Where did I put that? Oh, it's right here. Alright, okay.
So for license, going to agree to the license agreement. Don't know why it says upgrade there, and that's an enabled option, because it shouldn't be. Join zero, unallocated space. Again, I don't really have much of a choice. Now we'll begin copying files, expanding them, installing Windows, uh, hosing my computer, causing a Chernobyl meltdown, um, and eventually exploding and bringing about the end of the world. So let's wait until all of that stuff happens, maybe not in the order that I just said it would happen in. Alright. So that's going to reboot. And oh crap, I'm going to download drivers for this thing. Because I don't have drivers. Hmm. And yes, it's every bit as dark as it looks. It's almost 5 o'clock now. Uh, it didn't take half an hour. It really took maybe about 20 minutes to get through that part of setup. I'm just going to try and boot from the CD, which is, I'm not going to let happen. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD, which you can't read, because the autofocus on this camera is just not working properly. There we go. And we begin the startup process. Should get the second splash screen with the slower little turny thing. Turny thing? <laughs> the little... <coughs> oh, you know what I mean. So it's that one which is moving slower. Because it's getting devices ready. gonna take a while. Alright, now it's just getting ready. I think it's gonna reboot. The light you are seeing is coming from my uh, T500 over there, which I recently reinstalled Windows on. That was great. You might see that video now, or you might have seen it before this, or it might be out after this one. It depends on how fast I can get these videos edited. I was going to try and boot from the CD now. I don't know why the autofocus in this camera is so messed up. We should now get the last part of the graphical setup. Or, well, not quite the last part, but we should get the, uh... What would you call it? Oh, it's still setting devices up. Nice. But I already did that. I guess not. Man, this takes forever. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. We get the last part of the graphical setup. I like this color because it looks better. What's next? Wireless. Let's hook it up to my wireless network. Uh, 
All right, let's customize these settings. This is a home network network. Automatically install important updates. Sure, why not? Nope. I don't need smart screen. Who needs smart screen anyway? That should all be off. Sure. No. No. I don't want any of that. And let's enter our email. Which again, I don't really care if you get a hold of, although the camera is not really going to look at it anyway. Because the display is too bright. Well, maybe you can just see it if you're looking fairly hard at it. Checking for a Microsoft account. Should find one. Oh yeah. So let's enter in our password. Creating your account, even though there's one already created for me. Yay. Hooray for redundancy, right? Finalizing your settings. Hi. Hello. Well, we're getting things ready. Check out the new way to use Windows. Even though I already know how to use it, and it kind of sucks, but, well, there you go. After your PC is ready, move your mouse into any corner. I like how it just moves it up into the one corner. That's all it ever does. It just displays the charms bar. Look at how widescreen that monitor is. It's kind of ridiculous. The sad thing is, is Microsoft expects you to be using this with a touch screen. Uh, that's definitely not happening. This will take a few minutes. Well, thank you for telling me. So let's wait a few minutes. And it's, as you can see, I went ahead and turned the lights on. Uh, they're not as bright as they should be yet, but they're going to warm up. Will happen. This is going to take a few minutes still. Installing apps. By the way, the thing that I'm drinking is in strawberry Italian soda from Second Cup. Uh, you can probably just buy a soda stream and make them at home, but, well, whatever. Don't have a soda stream, and I'm certainly not buying one, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this really is taking a few minutes. It's already been a couple. It's only been two, but, well, whatever. Please don't turn off your PC. Why do they say that? It just so sorely tempts me. Looking into potentially getting a second camera this Christmas. Uh, just still camera, but it should be capable of taking video. I uh, don't know if that'll actually happen or not. I'm not really looking that actively for a new digital still camera, because I've got one, but mine's getting pretty old, so... Maybe I'll be able to benefit from a new one. I don't know. We'll have to see and find out. Man, this thing is slow! Oh, there we go. It just logged me in. Nice.
Alright, so nothing is set up the way that it should be, which is what I was, was expecting. <laughs> Doesn't phase me one bit. Uh, let's go ahead into... Well, actually, actually, let's make sure that we have a network connection first. Well, actually, we would. I don't know why we wouldn't. Uh, where is it? Microsoft Store. Let's go into the store and get ourselves Windows 8.1. If it wants us to. Which I guess it doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to download and install all the drive. Whoops, all the drivers first. So that's important. Setting up IE10. Ask me later, because IE10 sucks. Uh, let's go to Google. Surprisingly, Google is one of the first things that it lists, even though Bing is a thing. Uh, Bing sucks, so let's, let's, let's cut the chase here. ThinkPad T61 drivers. Let's see. Operating system, Windows 8. I'm just going to go ahead and download all the drivers um, just off the site. So, save. Fingerprint software for 32 bit. Instead of using the uh, system something or another, Lenovo system update, because it didn't work when I used it on the T500. That's what screwed up Windows. So. Enable Wake on LAN. Eh, whatever. Might as well, right? Power management driver. Hotkey features integration. Password manager. I'll download all the patch modules later. APS. Make sure we got the right one. Yep, Windows 8 32 bit. That's the one that I want. System update. And we'll download that later. Patch module for system updates. We'll have to download that after we go ahead and do all. So you've got some partial downloads here. Four downloads in progress will take four minutes. Let's install what we have now. Because why not? Wake on land. Oh, did it just install? I guess it did. see here. No. Oh, I guess it did install. Well, in any event, let's go ahead and install the next one. Power management. Fastest thing in the world, but whatever. Nope, I will restart the computer later. Because I'm going to wait until all of this other crap is done. Active protection. Boots, but I won't do that. I'll just wait. Oh, 
Oh, the one thing I forgot to do was to save the sound stream. Guess I'm going to be booting the system up off of that other hard drive again. I guess nothing's deciding it's going to run. Oh, there we go. There's something. Uh, whoop. Don't need that stuff. Nope, restart later. Surprisingly, that didn't ask me to restart. What did I end? Was it with this? Was it this? Chipset? Yeah, that was what I ended with. Think Vantage Fingerprint. Add program item, icon. No, I'll restart later. Hotkey features integration. Sure, you didn't really need to see all of this, but well, you're going to anyway. Because why not? If you start later, I want the next one. It's the last one. At least so far, anyway. This is the Synaptics UltraNav driver. Don't really think I need anything else. Oh, I guess I don't actually have the trackpad, so... Alright, let's reboot. An app on your PC needs the following feature. Sure, download and install. See if it can actually do it. Last time I tried doing this, it didn't work very well, but, you know. Maybe I'll get surprised and it will actually do what it's supposed to do for once. Right, actually successfully installed. What a difference. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and set up my fingerprint software thing. See if it can actually do it. No, oh, well, it can. 5.9.9, build 7282. Neat. Let's go ahead and enter our password and start enrolling fingerprints. Accept the license agreement, which you might as well do, and we will begin to enroll fingerprints. All right, here we go.
Biometric Windows logo on. Yeah, enable it. Of course I want to enable it. Let's enroll another finger on a different hand. Just in case, like, my hand gets chopped off or something. I can actually still log in using biometric. I don't know why my hand would get chopped off, but... You never know. Strange things have happened. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's now enabled. Hopefully it will work. A couple of important messages. Trust this PC. So you might as well trust this PC. Email me. It's gonna send me a verification code. I'm gonna have to look at that verification code. All right, so let's enter our verification code. All right, you are saved passwords for apps, websites, and networks when they'll sync to this PC. That's a good thing. Uh, purge that, because we don't need it anymore. Uh, what's next? Um, Program installation, I guess. Hotkeys work. At the very least, or at least it seems to be working. That's functional. Change PC settings. Oh yeah, I wanted to lock screen. I should be able to re easily re-grab my lock screen setup. Start screen, account picture, already got all that. Users should be set up. Uh, Windows update. We'll install 56 important updates automatically. Well, you probably won't because you'll be installing Windows 8.1 automatically. For me, right now, maybe not. I guess it's not going to let me. I want to install 8.1, damn it. Let me do that. I wonder if on the spotlight, if it would show up. Top free apps. OneNote is free? What the hell? Since when is Microsoft OneNote free? I don't see Windows 8.1. Can we see, can we search? Is search a possibility? I guess we don't have a search feature. That's kind of pathetic. We have games, we have Spotlight. I want to search, damn it. Does Control F do anything? No, I guess not. So maybe we'll guess we'll just have to install um, all the updates, and then we'll have to wait. I hate this stupid category view. It's so annoying. Doesn't need to be a thing. Do six important updates. Look at all those things. Optional updates. Install all the optional updates. Because we need them. So that's going to download those and install them. That's what we want. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the download button. And this should hopefully work. Maybe it won't. Tell that this machine is getting pretty warm. And again, it's running a Seagate hard drive, so why am I not surprised? That's what they do. They run hot. 
This is taking a while. Let me come back when this is actually deciding that it wants to work. Well, yeah, I think I know why that is. It's because there are other updates that are going on right now, and those have to stop. Guess it won't let me do anything. Because it doesn't want to work properly. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Typical Microsoft. Yeah, all of these just stop every single one of them. Let's select all of them. Alright, the one thing that I can see that it's not actually doing is downloading. I don't know what the deal is, but hopefully that's going to be, or at least that will have started by the time I come back up here. I have to go make my dinner. Uh, it's kind of important. So there we go. That's where we are right now. Alright, your PC needs to restart. It will restart uh, several times. I'm not really running anything, so let's just reboot it. Because why not? We've also gained a breathing apparatus. One who is very tired. It's fairly obvious. Did I leave the disc in here? I shouldn't still have the disc in there. Yeah, I don't still have the disc in there. Get these discs out of the way, because we don't need any of those. None of them are required for this. Should now boot into Windows. Well, I suppose it's still Windows 8, not Windows 8.1. Uh, so while that's working, let's go over and take a look at what has arrived. I mean, the blanket's not even on. He's just sort of here. Yes, there's something coming here. Why does this thing like look like it zoomed for some reason? I don't know what he smells. It's just the grocery store, but that's about it. He's warm though. I like that. Lots of people that watch my channel just like to see videos of the cat, so here you go. Here's a little section of the video with the cat. I might just make this its own little separate video, but I don't know. Probably will. I'll add it to like both videos. That's probably what I'll do. Uh, it's still setting stuff up, so I can stay here for a little bit of time. Oh, try and sit down. No, you didn't like that, did you? It is cold outside, and this is a soft cat that's nice and warm. So there you go, there's your cat, when you, know, you want to see a video about that. Three minutes long, three minutes long, isn't that nice? Alright, so just reboot it. Um, should hopefully now be at least a little bit on the functional side, I don't know for sure though. I don't know if it's all set up the way it should be, but... So I have to install all the updates and all of my programs.
Oh, do something. Don't just give me a blank screen. If the cat lets come back. Getting devices ready. Yay. That might take forever. Alright, that didn't really take that long actually. You no, know, it's just getting ready. Is it getting ready to take off and explode, or what? How worn the machine is. Well, it's getting pretty toasty, but not so bad that it's unusable. This computer has intermittent cooling system problems, so... I don't really know. In fact, the system has just intermittent problems in general. It wasn't working at all last week. It wouldn't start. Um, at all. But now, it is starting. And I was greeted with a hard drive failure. So, well, I don't know. I think this machine really just wants to shuffle off its mortal coil, or just simply be retired without having any real stress being applied to it. Sure is taking its jolly old time to get ready. I wonder if it really is getting ready to go Chernobyl on me. One thing I like about some of these later ThinkPads is the widescreen display because it's just a widescreen display and it looks nice. Well, there's no real technical advantage to it. I just think it looks better. <sighs> Excuse me then. The non non widescreen displays like this cuz those are weird for a laptop. Makes them smaller width-wise so they fit in my bag better. Come on, damn it, work. Alright, so now it's applying PC settings and taking forever, as you can probably see. This is probably going to be longest Windows installation in a long time. Of course, it's really just an upgrade, but whatever. Oh, now it's moving a little bit faster. Not quite at the speed that it should be, but... Oh, that's that's more like it. Now it's moving along. That's what I like to see. What's it doing now? It's gonna melt down? No, it's gonna shut down. Well, just restarted itself. Okay. Intel, a product of Lenovo. I don't think that was intentional, but... Intel is definitely not a product of Lenovo. That's for sure. Yeah, I know what they mean. So before anybody call me out in the comments, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, of course I do. I know that they just arranged it like that, but... Looks like they meant to say that Intel is a product of Lenovo. Uh, somebody who was completely computer illiterate and stupid, but I'm neither of those things. Seems like the hard drive cooled down in that little time that I didn't use it. Oh, now what's it doing? I have a blank screen. I don't like that. Work, damn it. it. Seems like it always works when I tell it to. Setting up a few more things. Okay. It 
Talk about an oversimplification. It's getting ready to do something again. Probably getting ready to tell me that the upgrade failed and I'm going to have to reinstall Windows. Look at how pessimistic I am. Huh. It's a Sunday night. It's about 8.25 now. I've been at this for a while. Four hours! That's how long this has taken so far. Oh, look at this. License turns. I accept. Again, I'm going to customize these settings. I don't want this. Should be fine. Automatically update my app. Sure, why not? Don't send any data to anything at any point in time. <laughs> Excuse me. Share info. Do not use Bing. Do not use page prediction. Do not let this happen. Do not let this happen. No. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Next, we'll set up your account. Well, why does that matter? Because I've already got my account. It's going to make me sign in again. How useful. That squeaking noise you hear is actually this desk. Or if we did not what? Next. I guess I'm gonna have to look for another code. Might keep this code this time. I don't know. Come on, load your piece of junk. I don't know why, but the network seems to be pretty crap lately. Alright, let's enter the security code here. That should hopefully work. SkyDrive is your cloud storage. I don't like SkyDrive, so turn that off. I don't need it. I think it's going to do that same stupid hi, welcome to Windows 8. It sucks, but you have to use it anyway. Yeah, I, just as I suspected. No, it just says, well, we're setting things up for you. So it's a little bit different. You can get new apps from the store. No, really? Oh my god, Microsoft. Sometimes I really don't understand them. Takes a while, but whatever. Maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't, but it just said let's start there. And then we've got some crap right here that we didn't really need to put right there, but whatever. My desktop, and we have the start button, of course. Let's see, I don't really need a start menu on this because I don't end up using it anyway. Let's run the control. I want to run Windows Update or not. It could just not let me do that. Two updates. 
let's install those. All right, so there's that. Now I just need to figure out what programs I need and install those. All right, let's take a look here. Let's check for more updates, see if there are more updates available. Probably not, if I had to guess. Even though it's only finding updates for Windows only, so I guess I'm going to have to change that. So now it should check for updates, and we should have more updates that we need to install. But I don't know. We'll have to see. So what's the deal with the action center? Is there anything here? Yeah, we've got some messages. Don't care, don't care. At all, to be perfectly honest. And I want all apps, because I want to... I want to put sound recorder... One of my start screen. And as for these... Put that under the start screen. What do I need to remove? Not really anything. Actually, I want to remove Skype because I'll never, re I'll never use that. What won't I actually end up using? Skype I won't use, sports I won't use, travel I won't use, video I won't use. Um, music I won't use, people I won't use, reader I won't use, reading list I won't use. Which I guess reader isn't pinned. SkyDrive I definitely won't use. That I won't use. Uh, the rest of this I think should be okay. So let's just remove all this crap. And you can see it. Not a whole heck of a lot is here. We can remove that. Oh yeah, and this. This we can remove too. Delete that. Reading list. It's right there. Remove that. That right there. Let's resize some of these. Internet Exploder, I'm only really going to use as a small size. Same thing with maps. Help and tips. Small size. Don't really need that to be huge. doesn't really have a large size. Neither does that one really. So none of those really have large sizes. Turn off the live tile because I don't care. I don't really like that that way. Oh yeah, that's right, I still need to install that one application. Oh, now there's a search feature for apps. My apps, let's see. It is installing, which is a good thing. I want it to do that. There we go. It's now installed. Um, installed that for that. Now where'd it go?
let's whoops let's call this metro apps and yes i realize it's called the modern ui but well there's nothing modern about it so there you go real apps So there we have that. I've never actually used that feature. Three optional updates. Well, some like Silverlight. I hate Bing, so we'll just get rid of all these Bing things. Let's install Silverlight, because why not? And then I'll do the rest of the usual stuff, and we'll get ready to install applications. Um, alright, so, now that that's done, let's go ahead and install our applications. Audacity, of course I want to run it. Gonna have to get the sounds off of the other computer, but for now this should be fine. Sure, install those. Why not? Let's pin it to the taskbar. Don't show me this again, because I don't care. This is what the new version looks like. I have 10.05 on this one. Just install everything. Sure, go ahead. And then it just flies through all that crap. Sure, why not? I'm going to pin it to the taskbar anyways. So. Coffee cup is the same way. Let's run the task manager and pin that to the taskbar where it's supposed to be. Don't need the graphics files, don't particularly care. Gonna have to install Visual C++ redistributables, redistributables, or whatever. Associate it. Pin it to the taskbar. Close it. Don't annoy me again, because I don't care. Sorry about that, I had the camera pointed way up at the high, like the ceiling or whatever. Oh! Let's install Firefox Nightly, which is what I'm going to be using. I promise I will do this later, even though I won't. Because I'm not paying for an HTML editor. Free is good. Free works. Even if it doesn't have as many features. And yes, I'm probably going to have a bunch of people complaining that I'm using the nightly build, but I've found that the Aurora hasn't crashed on me at all. And I'd like to support Mozilla here. Figure out how they can get their normal, regular version working properly. Um... 
custom installation, install the maintenance service, install on the desktop, install there, and now it will just install. Maybe it won't install. Oh, yeah, there we go. You have new apps that can open web pages. Use Nightly. Unpin Internet Exploder, because I don't need it. Don't import anything, because I don't care. And there we go. Oh, that looks different. And yeah, that really does look different. Look at that. We can still have a menu bar. It looks like Google Chrome now, though. Don't really need a menu bar. Still pin tabs, too, yeah. But at least it works, right? Let's run mod plug. That's now more like what it should sound like, but there you can see. How quiet this is compared to the other machine. It could be the fact that my speakers aren't exactly in the greatest shape anymore. Anyway. Install IMG or image burn. IMG burn. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to let you do that. Almost set it to install some random junk. Sure, why not? Install WinRAR, which is the last thing that I really need to install. So now the fan should be running at full speed like it's supposed to be. So there's that. Now I just have to set up. I think the last thing that I need to set up is um, Flash Player and my plugins. Nope, no McAfee. 
McLaughy sucks anyways. Work, dang it. Alright, the rest of this you really don't need to see. So I'll just install all this crap and we'll take a look. I wonder if there's something at her door. What the fuck? Anyway, now let's install our add-ons. We need add block. Just because I really don't care that much about like ads. Well, I do care about ads. I don't want them. Uh, do not remove all social media buttons, because I hate those. Uh, everything else should be fine. Anyways, what's next? No script, I don't really want that. Um, let's see, YouTube rating, I want the YouTube rating view thing. Let's see this one. Alright, so that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, and there was one other thing I think that I wanted. No, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. So let's go to YouTube. Oops. Go back to YouTube. And let's take a look here. Let's go to a YouTube video. How about my channel? Seems like it actually works pretty well. Of course, I'm not signed in. Everything appears to have a gray bar. So I wonder if jerks have been disliking all my videos recently. I guess not. I think they're just gray because there's been no ratings, but... Oh, wait, I remember. If it's red, then there has been a rating. If it's gray, then there is no ratings, because as you can see... Red bar means there's been ratings. Yeah, I can understand why that's got a red bar on it. Secret language of birthdays. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.